Alright guys, then I have a bonus question for you. The vessel's summer displacement is 12,450 metric tons. Her light ship is 1,490 metric tons with the following weights on board. Fresh water 120 metric tons, FO 350 metric tons, DO 70 metric tons, and constant of 100 metric tons. Find how much cargo to be loaded so that she will not exceed her summer displacement. So our solution is displacement 12,450 metric tons minus light ship 1,490 metric tons equals dead weight of 10,960 metric tons minus non-cargo weights of 640 metric tons. Total cargo to load is 10,320 metric tons. <music> Okay guys, good day and welcome back again on my channel, Ship Captain's Diary. So now, this is the part 2 of our tutorial in stability and trim on determining cargo loadable quantity. Today, we are going to study one of the actual voyage order that I have received in my previous vessel, MV Aquanite. A Panamax bulk carrier which is scheduled to load coal cargo for her next employment. But before we proceed, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so that you will be updated every time I have new video. Okay, let's proceed guys. So, MV Aquanite just completed her discharging operation at Lumut, Malaysia and was ordered by her new charter to proceed to Tanjung Bara, Indonesia to load her next cargo. Below is her voyage instruction which please carefully read. To Master MV Aquanite, good day. We, the Steamship Company Limited, as your next charter, are pleased to inform you that your good vessel will be delivered to us from your owner upon completion of current voyage at DLOSP Lumot on around 15th July 2018. Following is our voyage instructions. Cargo quantity, call in bulk 70,000 metric tons, 10% molo, stowage factor, 41 cubic feet per long ton, Laycan 001 local time 20th to 2359, 29 July 2018. Load port, one safe berth, one safe port, Tanjung Bara, Indonesia. Discharge port, one safe berth, one safe port of Tubata, Japan, port restriction, load port, Tanjung Bara, Indonesia, draft 17.25 meters, density 1.020. Discharge port to Bata, Japan, draft 16 meters of seawater density. Speed and bunker consumption after departure Lumot, Malaysia, vessel to proceed on eco speed on both ballast and laden voyage up to discharging port. Speed consumption under time charter party eco speed consumption laden about 11.50 knots on about 23.50 metric tons IFO and 0 0.20 metric tons MDO. Eco speed consumption ballast about 12.00 knots on about 21.00 metric tons IFO plus 0 0.20 metric tons MDO. Because freight is being paid per metric tons, we always wish to load maximum quantity of cargo. However, always considering bunker planning. On this voyage, bunker plan will be after discharging. Please advise following cargo dead weight calculations, always basis maximum cargo, no mixing of grades, no bagging, strapping, dividing, or securing considering all port restrictions. 
Dead weight calculation basis on the following. Displacement on departure draft minus light ship's weight minus sag-hag correction minus IFO quantity minus MDO quantity minus freshwater quantity minus constant minus unpumpable ballast equals maximum cargo loadable quantity. Please advise your stowage plan basis below hatchwise cargo quantity per hold and percentage capacity. Please advise following draft. Departure draft, loading port, forward, midship, aft. Arrival draft, discharging port, forward, midship, up. Okay, we have the given data on board. 1700 hours, 14th July 2018, vessel departed Lomot, Malaysia, ROB, IFO 953.453 metric tons, MDO 179.085 metric tons, Lobe oil 51 metric tons, fresh water 200 metric tons, constant 305 metric tons, and ballast water of 18,345 metric tons. Following itinerary and distances, Lumo to Tanjung Bara, Indonesia equals 1,731 nautical miles. Port stay at Tanjung Bara equals 2 days. Tanjung Bara to Tobata, Japan is equals to 2,377 nautical miles. So, in our solution guys, first we have to determine our estimated ROB of our non-cargo weights on board at different point of our voyage. And this is how it should be look like if you want to make a chart representation for your EC calculation. Okay guys, so let's summarize. Total non-cargo weights departure Lumot is equals to total 20,033.538 metric tons. Total non-cargo weights departure Tanjung Bara is equals to 1,838.126 metric tons. And total non-cargo weights arrival to Bata is equals to 1,694.044 metric tons. So next, we have to determine maximum cargo quantity to load by displacement calculation. Displacement equals 85,843.16 metric tons at 13.84 meter summer draft. Minus light ship of 10,462 metric tons equals dead weight 75,381.16 metric tons. Minus non-cargo weights of... 1,838.126 metric tons, this is departure Tanjung Bara, equals maximum cargo to load of 73,543.06 metric tons. Then, we will add cargo allowance since the vessel will be loading at tropical zone and will be entering summer zone on her way to her discharging port. So, maximum cargo quantity of 73,543 metric tons plus consumption of 23.5 metric tons IFO times 2.5 days is equals to 58.75 metric tons. 
So, total cargo will be 73,602 metric tons. So, here in this load line chart, I will show you that loading port Tanjung Bara, Indonesia is in tropical zone. And it is estimated that upon vessel's departure going to her discharging port to Bata, Japan, she will enter summer zone in about 2.5 days. So, her FO consumption for about 2.5 days will be added to her cargo to load to ensure that upon arrival on summer zone, her draft will be exactly at her summer draft. So now, ch check your arrival draft at Tobata, Japan, basis maximum cargo of 73,602 metric tons. So maximum cargo quantity equals 73,602 metric tons plus non-cargo weights of 1,694 metric tons ar arrival Tobata. So dead weight equals 75,296 metric tons plus light ship of 10,462 metric tons equals displacement of 85,758 metric tons arrival to Bata. We will then check this displacement to its equivalent draft at hydrostatic table. So in the hydrostatic table, you will see that the displacement of 85,758 metric tons will be in between draft of 13.82 and 13.83 meters. So it is safe to say that you will arrive in Tobata, Japan with your mean draft of 13.83 meters. Since draft restriction in Tobata is 16 meters, you can confirm that you can arrive safely. Also, there is no need for you to arrive in even kill, so you may adjust your draft to have a slight trim by the stern. So, seawater displacement of 85,758 metric tons is equals to mean draft of 13.83 meters arrival to Bata, Japan. The important thing here is that your mean draft must not be more than your assigned summer draft. So, okay guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave in the comment section. Please watch out for my next video as I am going to show you how to do the storage plan using the loading computer as well how to do the loading sequence.